Hi everyone, this is a solve video for Skyscrapers by Bill Murphy. This will be a gas puzzle at some point, I assume, but he has not posted it yet. And what do we have? We have normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3x3 three three box. Additionally, we have some clues outside the grid. And those clues are Skyscraper clues. And the way Skyscraper clues work is, starting from the clue, we look in the direction away from the clue. They are telling us a some, something about that column or about that row if we had clues on the sides. Uh, but this four is telling us something about this column going in the direction away from the four. And what they're telling us is if we consider each digit as a building of some height, then the four is telling us we can see four of those buildings. So let's say we had something like this. In our column. This is not valid for the four, just an example. We can see the three. We can see whatever is in the first cell. So we can see that digit. The five is bigger than the three, so it's taller. So we can see the five peeking up above the three. We can't see the four though. It is completely hidden by the five. Five is bigger. The six is bigger than the five. The eight is bigger than the six. But now the two and the one are completely hidden by the eight. They're way smaller. Nine is gonna be our tallest building. We're always going to be able to see the nine. So we're always gonna have at least one building. See? And then anything after the 9 is going to be hit because the 9 is the tallest building. So this would give a value of 5 for that. Not valid for that row, but that's how skyscrapers work. All right, so this is a bit of a meme puzzle. And if you know the trick to this, it is very quick to solve. Uh, but we'll discover the trick along. And with skyscrapers, if you ever have a 1 or a 9, those are the places to start. Um, 1 tells us we can only see one building. And we know we can always see the 9. So, let's say we put the 9 here. We're going to see whatever is in the first cell, and then we're going to see the 9. So we have more than one building. Let's see, that doesn't work. The only place we can put the 9 is in the first cell. We always see the first cell and we always see the 9. If we have a clue of 1, that means the 9 has to be what's in the first cell, so that we only see it. 9, on the other hand, in order to get 9, we have to see all 9 buildings in the column, which means they have to go from small to big. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, down the column. All right. What about 8? Eight? 8 is not quite as restricted, but think about the 1 in, in this column. Can we ever see the 1? Well, the only way we can see the 1 is if it is the first digit. We know it's not in this case because we already have the 1. So this is not 1. This is at least 2. That means wherever we place the one in the column, it can't be seen because there's something bigger that is occurring before it in that column. So we don't see the one. We do see two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we know that those digits have to go in order. Well, the nine can't go in the last cell. So this has to be the nine and then descending from there. This is the only way to get 8, given that we can't put the 1 here, we can't put the 9. So this must be our 1. Now, for the 7 clue, we're going to do something very similar. This time we can't put 1 or 2 in the first cell, so this has to be at least 3, which means it's going to hide the 1 and 2 in the column, wherever we put them. So our buildings that are seen are going to be 3 through 9 in order. 
Well, the nine can't go in the bottom two rows, and if it went anywhere else, we would only be able to see up to six. So this is our nine, and again, we're just descending from there. And then our one here is going to place two and one. And hopefully you're seeing a pattern here. We're just doing one through nine in order, starting in a different place. One, two, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to do the same for the six. We can't place one, two, or three in the first row. So our digits, our buildings that can be seen are four through nine. We can't place nine in the bottom three rows. The nine has to go here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. And then our twos and ones down here, three, two, one. And from there, we're just going to do the same thing. This is the furthest down the nine can go. It has to go there so that we can see five things. And we're forced to do the highest digits we can because the first cell can't be one, three, or four. And then our low digits down here, four, four, one, like that. The four here, nine is going to have to go in the fourth cell, or we're not going to be able to see four buildings. Eight, seven, six, because we can't put anything lower. And then from the bottom, five, four, three, two, one. And I'm just going to fill in the rest now. Seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is the solution. So that took me eight and a half minutes to explain. Um, hopefully you found the trick and found it easier to actually fill in. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's a little bit of a mean puzzle. This sort of solution can be the basis for a lot of fairly minimal puzzles. So this only had the nine skyscraper clues across the board. You can do something similar with uh, X sums. You can do it with killer cages, um, where you just have one to nine in order or reverse order. But hope you enjoyed it.